So based on our announcement with AT&T, we developed a, uh, these demo vehicles to showcase uh, what's possible with 4G. And, um, you know, some of the most exciting things to show is, you know, video in and out from the car. Mm -hmm. um, what we have had, what we developed, we put four cameras around the car and then uh, uh, integrated those onto the screen there, but also uh, broadcast those and then uh, you can uh, pull these down from the, the car itself so that... Uh, you know, it's, it can become kind of like a service that's available if some developer wants to use it. Uh, but it just shows the power of uh, having a 4G connection. So is the, the tablet connected to the, the Wi-Fi network in the car, or is it it's connected is that streaming? To, it's connected to the, uh, to the Wi-Fi network on the booth, which is connected through okay. the, to the car. So it doesn't have to be a direct connection, so I no, could be not, in yeah. the UK or absolutely, somewhere else yeah. and see what the car exactly. is looking at. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. So the functionality you can see for that is, one, you can check on your car when you have everything yeah. But two, we actually integrated this feature we call push notification. Okay. Um, and the push notification allows you say someone bumps your car when you're not near it, rear ends that is you're back out of the parking lot. Mm -hmm. um, you would get a push notification on your phone, and you see okay, so there's been a disturbance in my car. You mm -hmm. can bring up one of these cameras, these live streams, and maybe get the license plate or see what exactly happened to your vehicle. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. So then the other uh, functionality we developed was uh, we part when partnered with uh, AT&T's other uh, uh, division called Uverse, and they have a uh, video streaming live uh, uh, service called uh, that we have the ability to pull down live television, video on demand movies. Um, now, obviously, you wouldn't show this on the screen while driving. No. But it's something that would be in a park, yeah. Exactly. And, uh, but we've got the whole library of uh, videos that... Uh, we have at, at, our, at our access here, and then we've also uh, you know, put a similar uh, library on, on the, the tablet itself. So, so for instance, if your children in your the back seat and they each had their own tablet, they could watch whatever they wanted okay. instead of fighting over what's going on in the center screen. Okay, brilliant. So, and then uh, we have we installed some cameras in the car here, uh, two in the front and one up here. You know, um, there's multiple. Uh, ways that you could utilize these. If you uh, were parked, you could have a video conference. Okay. Um, you could have your uh, kids in the rear seat and say, uh, you know, have a Skype call with grandma, you know, while you're driving, or have a, uh, an executive in the back seat having a co video conference while they're being driven from the airport. Oh. So, you know, it's many possibilities now that you have this broadband connection mm -hmm. embedded into the vehicle. That's that's the key. It's uh, it's in the car and uh, you know, utilizing the antenna on the car makes it gives it better throughput and uh, and you uh, you know, have it always in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. so. The other uh, thing we showed uh, we announced this um, MyLink app market at the uh, 2013 CES, mm -hmm. and this is basically uh, the. Uh, an SDK that allows um, third-party developers to develop apps for the car. And uh, here we have an example of some of the apps that, uh, that may or may not come out. Uh, we have uh, The idea here is that the customer selects one, basically downloads and installs, and then it shows up on the screen here. And, uh, so this is very powerful. So now that third-party developers can access the APIs and uh, develop, integrate things that, you know, mm -hmm. while we, we've thought we've had some great applications. We're hoping that our third-party developers can think of some even more interesting applications as well. Right. And here's an example of one of the applications that we've developed. This is currently in production. It's called Remote Link. Mm -hmm. It gives you the ability to lock and unlock your car remotely, uh, mm -hmm. start your car as well, as long as it has a remote start capability. Okay. Um, so, for instance, up oh, the lock just locked oh. there, and you can unlock it. Um, you can uh, sound, sound your horn and lights, for instance, if you were, felt that you were in danger or something. Uh, it also has a diagnostic, so you can check your fuel level, um, your tire pressures, uh, odometer, etc. And we also have a nav tab, and, uh, and this this app keeps getting added onto. It's mm -hmm. it's a very uh, dynamic platform for okay. us, and it gives the consumer a connected feel to their car. Now they have. Uh, the ability to reach out from wherever they're located to mm -hmm. get uh, information about their vehicle. Mm -hmm. so. Brilliant. So when, obviously this is kind of a, a, a mock-up of how it would 
be with the cameras, for instance. Sure. They probably wouldn't be balanced on the, the vents. But uh-huh. when do you think we can start to see this kind of technology in production vehicles? Well, uh, LTE will be coming to North America in uh, model year 2015. Right. And uh, we'll proceed globally from then on. Um, as far as the cameras and things, these are all concepts right now. Okay. So that's, uh, I'm sure they'll be considering that depending on the, uh, the consumer interest. <laughs> Brilliant. And how much uh, kind of does this add to, in terms of dollar value to uh, the, the sticker price of the car? Well, it's, it's standard, so uh, you know it's integrated already into the place. Okay. Uh, it's standard on all North American vehicles. Brilliant.